This channel is part of the History Hits Network. Professor Zhao is on the trail of the 13th century explorer Marco Polo, whose travels through the Mongol Empire have shaped how the West viewed the East ever since. Winnie's 马可 Polo is on a journey to the court of the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. In around 1273, after two years' journey, he has reached the Pamir Mountains on the edge of today's China. Le montagne. Abbiamo scalato montagna dopo montagna per tre giornate. Sembrano le più alte del mondo. Un uccello vi volava. For thousands of miles around, everyone at the time was the subject of the Mongol Empire. This is silk. And this used to be the Silk Road, a route not just for trade, but for ideas and beliefs for thousands of years. Europeans have always compared the search for Eastern riches to the search for paradise. In the markets of Kashgar, Marco Polo has reached the gates of merchant heaven. Questa terra è lo punto di partenza. Da onde tanti mercanti partono per vendere le loro mercantanzie per tutto lo mondo. From the west came perfumes, ivory, precious stones and glassware. From China, silk and spices. Marco Polo follows the path of the Silk Road from town to town, skirting along the southern rim of the forbidding Taklamakan Desert. Le genti qui vi sono musulmani. Essi vivono di mercantanzia ed arti. Tutto lo necessario per la vita di un uomo è qui, in grandissima abbondanza. As a merchant, Marco Polo is always looking for opportunities to trade. As a young male, he's also looking for other opportunities. Le donne. Esse sono tanto belle. Tanto suadenti. E sempre pronte ad intrattenere. In Venice, Professor Zhao is continuing his quest for Marco Polo, looking for physical evidence of his existence. Marco Polo 
曾在此居住。这只是一种推测。如今，老房子已经不复存在。In the east, Marco Polo takes the Southern Silk Road. He reaches a dangerous area, where many travelers before him have found their death. Tutta questa provincia è una distesa di sabbia. Questa terra sembra che non sia mai stata attraversata da uomo o bestia. Non va né animali né uccelli. Non va niente per loro da mangiare. 我们看到了，现在是塔格拉玛干，现在说是死亡之海。Archaeologist Idilis Abdul Rusal has been working in the Taklamakan Desert for 30 years. He knows the dangers faced by Marco Polo at first hand. 这是失踪了呀，啊，迷失方向了呀，或者没水了。在沙漠里头经常遇到这样子，所以说现在返回来再想，我们现在进沙漠都中间的，返回再想一下，在七八百年以前，他当时进沙漠的时候。Il deserto è la dimora di molti spiriti maligni. Quando un uomo perde la via, comincia a sentirli parlare. Certe volte chiamano lo suo nome. Little did Marco Polo know that this forbidding place had once been the fertile home to earlier civilizations. In the early 20th century, Western archaeologists discovered evidence for these early settlements. They found ancient cities buried in the sand. The big surprise was that many of these inhabitants turned out to be Indo-Europeans, like Marco Polo himself. Idilis Abdul Rusal has worked here on an archaeological site that was first discovered in 1934, but never excavated until recently. It is a Bronze Age burial site, over 3,000 years old in the Xinjiang province. It took Idilis years of excavation, but in 2006, he discovered a treasure. It had been under the shifting sands for centuries. So this has been found in many places in this Taglamagan. Because when we opened the door, we had a lot of people. We had to open the door. We had to open the door. 因为要开关了呢，大家都要非常感兴趣，会出现什么，对不对？当我们每一次打开的时候，因为我们从头要打开第一块板的时候，这个毡帽出第二块板的时候，这个上颚出来了。到第三块板打开的时候呢，整个面貌出来。当场大家非常吃惊，哇，太漂亮了，太漂亮了，非常吃惊。可能也就一个三十多岁吧，啊，非常死的也非常安心
还带一点微笑，而且他的眼睫毛还是蓝的。呃，不知道谁是当时就说了一句：“哦呦，小河公主。”一下子大家就这就成了形成小河公主了。长得非常漂亮。The final destination of Marco Polo's journey is the court of the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. He leaves the Taklamakan Desert behind. His route now turns further east, through Lanzhou and along the Gobi Desert. He eventually makes his way into the heartland of the Mongol Empire. Ironically, this is the safest part of his three-year-long journey. Some people think that the Mongols are simple and simple people. But they are very particular in the practice. 他们在征服的疆域上鼓励人们从事商业，成为东西商路的保护者。马可波罗特别提到，蒙古帝国利于经商。In his bag, he is carrying oil from the tomb of Jesus, and a letter from the Pope requesting an alliance with the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. 可是忽必烈汗和他统帅的蒙古人是谁？欧洲人知之甚少，他们只知道这些马背上的男人攻城略地，一路西来，直指欧洲心脏。Much of the Mongolian grasslands is now part of China, but when Marco Polo came here, it was a different story. The Mongols had just defeated the Chinese and ruled the biggest empire the world had ever seen. Vi conterò ora tutto sui Mongoli, come istituirono il loro impero e come si sparsero per lo mondo. Ora avvenne che nell'anno dell'incarnazione di Cristo, 1187, i mongoli fecero un nuovo re. E il suo nome, nella loro lingua, era Gengis Khan. La moltitudine di mongoli che si radunò dinanzi a lui fu da non credersi. Egli fornì loro di archi e altre armi e diede inizio ad una carriera di conquista. This is Inner Mongolia today. The lifestyle of these Mongols is eerily similar to the scenes which Marco Polo recorded in his book over 700 years ago. The young Venetian man was clearly in awe of these warriors, born from a harshness he had never encountered before. Poscia, quando adunò tale moltitudine di seguaci, decise che voleva conquistare tutto il mondo. Sono robusti. Di tutte le genti del mondo, essi sono i migliori per resistere alle avversità e i migliori per conquistare lo territorio e rovesciare gli regni. Then as now, Mongolian boys are trained in the three manly skills: 
horsemanship, archery, and wrestling. Mongolian wrestling, or boek, means durability. The highest honors in the martial code still goes to the Mongolian wrestlers, men trained to survive, just like in Marco Polo's time. Out on the steppe, there are still Mongols that Marco Polo would recognize today. This is Hoobskalat. His name means revolution. He's well known on the Mongolian grassland as a breeder of fine sheep. And today he'll swap his sheep to fulfill a lifetime's ambition. <laughs> Il fatto è che il Gran Khan aveva un maschio di stallone bianco, senza neanche una macchia di altro colore. Lo latte di queste giumente non può essere bevuto da nessuno che non sia di famiglia imperiale, vale a dire della stirpe del Gran Khan. Five prize sheep for a horse, and no money changed hands. This is how they have always traded on the grasslands. istruirono i loro cavalli molto bene. Essi fanno manovra liberamente, li fanno ruotare così velocemente come fossero cani. Per codesto motivo possono volteggiare, attaccando il nemico con archi e frecce.
дэлхийн хагас илүү өнгөр нь тоорой гараа ингэж давтлж ингэж адилсан Today in Inner Mongolia there are only a quarter of the horses that there were a generation ago. The grasslands have become China's industrial backyard. It's not the power of the Mongols, but the power of China that can be felt everywhere. Yerangu ato unutrim Mongol chodo tachilu ungursong arungurum tor. Jonte Marco Polo is about to reach Xanadu and the court of the mighty Mongol emperor Kublai Khan. Venice, once a powerful trading post of the Western world. Professor Zhao is on the trail of Marco Polo, the Venetian merchant who traveled east and recorded his journeys for posterity. But Marco Polo was not just a merchant. He has a mission from the Pope to deliver a letter to the Mongol emperor asking for a political alliance. Marco Polo has traveled for three years without ever leaving Mongol territory. Now he approaches the heart of it, the court of Kublai Khan, the grandson of the all-conquering Genghis Khan, the most powerful man in Marco Polo's time. La parola Khan significa lo grande signore dei signori. Ed aveva ogni ben diritto a tale titolo. Che sia di terre o di tesori, Il gran cane è il più possente che mai fu esistito. Dai tempi di Adamo infino al dia d'oggi. E di questo mostrerò ragione. Xanadu. All that remains of the marble palace, the temples, the beautiful park and the pleasure dome the fabulous city of Kublai Khan. Through these gates, emissaries and ambassadors arrived from all over the world, past the Khan's personal guard of 12,000 horsemen. Hubi Lehan, the only Ling Ci prostramo al suolo. Ci diede ordine di alzarci. Egli ci ascoltò in silenzio. Ricevette l'olio del sacro sepolcro e ordinò che venisse custodito. Egli mi accolse e mi ammise alla sua onorevole presenza. Buongiorno, professor. Ciao. Sono un professore presidente vice direttore. Se vuole l'accompagno a vedere gli altri documenti di Marco Polo. 
Thank you. Sicuramente è la prima volta un uomo occidentale e non un aristocratico, non un condottiero, non un leader di una nazione incontra il più importante e il più temuto e il, il principale uomo politico al mondo in quel momento. Eh, ciò che eh, Marco Polo pensa di Kubilai Khan è sempre, è sempre buono. Marco Polo non è un colonizzatore aggressivo, rapace. Da Han e Jiao Huang Butong. 他不需要人人归顺，也不会惩罚异教徒，这让马可很钦佩。后来的欧洲人带着马可的书而来，却自视高人一等。The meeting in Xanadu is a game changer. Marco Polo arrives as an envoy of the West, but Kublai Khan rejects an alliance with the Pope and instead he hires Marco Polo for himself. Marco Polo is to report to him from the newly conquered parts of his own empire. When I started my mission, I decided to note every strange thing I had seen, so I could tell the Grand Khan. The Khan gives him a golden pass to use the imperial postal system, the fastest and biggest communications network until the coming of the motor car. I brought with me so many strange things e ciò piacque al Sire enormemente. Vedetti come il Gran Khan chiamava altri messaggeri folli e stolti, perché avrebbe preferito sapere di usanze di terre esotiche che avevano visitato. Marco Polo is sent first to a region close to the Emperor's heart, in the territory of his first conquest. So remote that it is called Yunnan, beyond the clouds. Per venti die viaggiai per terre disabitate, in cui una vasta moltitudine di bestie selvatiche errava. There are still people today who travel through the mountains of Yunnan in the same manner as Marco Polo did on the horse caravans. It was and still is a tough male world, but Gadana, the guide, is an exception. <laughs> Wei Shan stands at the crossroads of ancient salt and tea routes to Tibet. Such towns were staging posts for the vast Mongol caravans that carried goods, soldiers, information, and Marco Polo across the empire. There is still a hint of the heyday of the horse caravans. Marco Polo would have seen horse caravan hostels like Mother Mee's. She was still running it until the 1980s. Mi 
出美妆，珠江新达包福包业乌梅合作来得，千金平安，茶园无水，我来月里，后来相逢，万事成交，在一时地步。你收不？你来白钱？你偷你的水壶？万事神交，千金平安。世界伟大，我想你们注意。La provincia è di immensa grandezza. I nati sono o briganti o idolatri. Per la quale cagione il passaggio vi era pericoloso? Time has stood still in this part of the world. The horse caravans are as close to the world Marco Polo described to Kublai Khan as it is possible to find today. And the tales they tell are no doubt the same too. Thank you. 我这点打伤嘛，当时别是打那打嘛。啊，那可得俺弟那边来打架就你些，你那边来得打架，老你些打架得你些，那那不是，这个路得也不是让老二抢着。那你那边来抢一个的，啊，那俺得老二老二等一着，吃那老二老二白了，阿妈阿妈路吃着不是，哎呀。没，我说过你了嘛？米昌林啦，这边嘛，他他他他喜欢我这个儿子嘛，那个娃娃也爱，一天跟着在跑嘛。再说说这边儿子，这个娃娃会累的，得得,得喜欢。没，那我们前面买个的，给他买个的在拿着考。我哭了个几天呢，我我考。把我那这个老三儿子这个。所以把十几个娃娃，我这个在的车上，那就是不爱你了。呃，因为车路通了嘛，用铁木啊，木板不想来了，我现在在老了。每一个旅行者都梦想远方，另外一个世界，另外一种人生。Vi voglio contare un'usanza che si hanno in questa terra in merito alle loro donne. Niuno uomo si considera offeso se un forestiero o qualunque altro uomo disonora la sua moglie o figlia. Al contrario, tale rapporto è segno di buona fortuna. Andrew, Andrew, 
Lake Lugu, the ancient home of the Masuo people. On their sacred mountain, any traveler's desire for an exotic story could be fulfilled. This is the kingdom of women, and women do things differently. Marco Polo never hid from his readers his fascination with women, and no doubt he thought Kublai Khan would enjoy the strange customs too. Perhaps even stranger, this way of life survives today on the edge of the Tibetan plateau. Megasin 吃了一年也是个骨 你们都在这里 你们会给抓父女妈妈说，嗯，都会说开玩笑的，都会说，怎么你你你爸爸不不当家，你妈妈当家，就这种开玩笑，我就会对他们说，嗯，妈妈当家有什么不好的，就会这样说，我觉得这
所以的话，舅舅承担了其他民族的父亲的那个位置。嗯，这是我祖先，就是啊，我姥姥的妈妈那些，就是我们祖我们家祖先全部都带过，然后传到我们这一辈，希望我们这一辈就是平平安安的，然后幸幸福福的。因为他这个以经济这个东西，对这个摩梭文化的冲击是非常大。那么现在我们现在退休，我们现在退休的人是非常着急的，也担心这个把文化史传掉。然后积极的在搞，呃，摩梭的这个呃原始的这个呃民歌收集、音乐收集，尽可能的留下痕迹。Yeah. It is the twenty-fifth day of the seventh month of the lunar calendar. For 700 years before Marco Polo, and the 700 years since, the Masuos have honored the goddess of love and beauty. Thank you. 就是传统的文化都没有了，会感到后悔吗？反正社会在变化嘛，然后虽然要继承这样的文化，但是还是要适者生存。强者生存，真的吗？何谓强者？何谓长久？蒙古帝国曾经君临世界，威尼斯如今挣扎着不沉于海底，而马可波罗
留下了一种永不褪色的回忆。Marco Polo's mission is not finished yet. He travels on to Beijing, the glorious new capital of the Mongol Empire. His journey continues.